Hello, back for part two of my Resident Evil collection. This time I'm going to talk about... Oops, there. I should have been a little bit prepared, but it's okay though. I'm going to talk about the books first. My player's guides and then books and then the figures and posters. So it's not going to be too long. It'll probably be just as long as part one, I think. So you won't be seeing part three. Part one, part two, and that's it. So it's all good. Um, move on to the guides here. This isn't really a guide. It's a collect It's archives. This came out in, I think, 06, I think. Yeah. Can't believe I do remember that, but anyways, uh, this is a, definitely a f for a fan. I mean, you, if you're a fan, definitely get this. I mean, you can't find this anywhere. It's rare as hell. Um, pretty much, it talks about like all the games up to Cold Veronica, I think this is before Res Resident Evil. F Wait a minute. I think the, I don't even know if Resident, anything with Resident Evil Five is even in here. It's really weird. That they admit, uh, that's that's really weird that they missed uh, Resident Evil Five Four. Yeah, that's really weird. They have like Resident Evil 1.5 conceptual, like character design and like all that stuff. It's really cool. Like if you, like this is the stuff that you want to look at right here. This is like this right here. They show pretty much every screenshot of every game of all the games of the Veronica. Like this right here is what you want to look at. I think it's really pretty cool. I'll give you, just give you a little taste. If you if you you can find this book online, I highly recommend it. I got this at Game Crazy for thirty bucks. And Game Crazy was still open. You show you all that stuff right there, and show you the box arts. You don't want to look at the, the where's the characters? Eh. Trying to find the characters here. Right here, here's the characters. I'll just go. This, I'll, just, I'll just go through this like real quick here. But I'm just giving you an idea what it looks like. Like all this stuff right here. This is Claire, uh, yeah, Chris Redfield from the remake. His character design. Like all that. Here's Jill with Chris. Here's Chris Redfield from Cold Veronica. That's his look. And then Jill from the remake. Still Jill from the remake. Jill from Umbrella Chronicles. Jill from the Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Barry Burton. Rebecca from. I think that's her look from yeah Zero. And Billy. I guess they're showing a little bit of him. Then Rebecca. Wesker. Hell yeah. All that, good, all that good stuff, so I'm not going to bore you with that, though, but that's the uh, archives. I highly recommend getting that, though. It's just amazing for any fan. And then these are this is the guides, like Resident Evil Zero guide. I'm not going to spend too much time like, on the guides. Very useful guide. I actually like the Resident Evil Zero guide. Especially with the first puzzle at the beginning of the train. The end one. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to geek out or be nerdy here, but... Remake, guide, the poster. I actually got all the posters hung up. I took all the posters out. I'm going to have one poster in, inside here. I'll show those later, actually. Uh, this is my, one of my favorite guys because it has two and three. The GameCube. Let's see. GameCube. Resident Evil 3 guide. Yeah, that came with the poster of like the Raccoon City map. Um, I never used that much, actually, because it was like the wrong guide. I think that, I think that was like the... What was that? That was, the Prima, that was the Prima guy. That was for the... Uh, yeah. But I, I used it once in a while. Uh, Code Veronica guide for the GameCube. Very useful. Even though that game's fucking hard, like I said in part one. Um, Umbrella Chronicles. Resident Evil 4 GameCube guide. Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition guide, which came in with the uh, extinction guide. I mean, a st extinction poster, I meant. Ugh. Got that hung up. Now, on to books. Actual chapter books. Yeah, me owning chapter books. I read, right? No, I'm a literate. No, I don't, I don't read at all, though. I read all these when I first got them, like, a couple times, like, three times each, I think. Uh, really good books. Expands the universe. Zero Hour. I think, yeah. And then, uh, The Burlock Conspiracy. That's obviously the first Resident Evil. Cablin Cove. I think that's our, I think that's a Rebecca. I don't even remember. No. Yeah. City of the Dead. That's Resident Evil 2. Underworld. Nemesis and Cold Veronica. That's really cool. Look at that. That's sick. That is so awesome. Now into the figures. Okay. Here's my relationship with figures and action figures and toys. I don't buy a lot of them because I have money. I spend my money on other things, <laughs> on games and posters and stuff. To me, when it comes to like collectibles, I rather buy a poster. See, like a po I'll move on to the posters, but I'll talk about this. Like I rather buy posters. Than actual figures. I don't know why. I don't know. It's because I have no room for that stuff. And the figures that I do have, I'm, I'm happy with them. They're fine. But these right here, 
let's move on to these here. I got these at KB Toys a long time ago. Resident Evil 2 and 3 came out. Plant Ivy. Ada. These are old stickers. And the Tyrant. These right here, these are new. I got this. I bought this from a friend for like 15 bucks. I was like, I need that. I think I bought this from a friend too, I think. Yeah. Both these. And this. All this comes right in with that. This right here, I bought this at Suncoast, I think. Yeah, I did. I think I did. I th you know, when Suncoast was still open. Um, these are the energy drinks. Yeah. Don't want to drink that. That's poison, actually, because I, I had this for like three years and never opened it. This is an empty one. It actually tastes like Red Bull. Like a gross version of Red Bull. I drank it all, though. But these are, these are pretty cool. I don't spend my money. I don't spend my money on this type of stuff anymore. It's kind of a waste of money, but it's pretty cool just to have, like, two of them. I think they're like three. I think they're like three dollars or whatever. But this right here, go. Uh, GameStop, Capcom. I don't know when they got this. Never even use it though. It's all dusty. I just kind of have it on my shelf. It says antivirus on there, and then like a surgical mask. Says Resident Evil Outbreak. And this. I don't have all of them though. I just got one of these. I got this free from a friend at Game Crazy. I was like, why not? I'll take it. Because I didn't get the collector's edition of Resident Evil. Um. Four. <clears throat> these are stickers. Actually, I had this actually hung up. I don't use any of these. Any of these. Yeah, all just pretty much stickers I got from the. I think I got this from the 2008 calendar. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, oh yeah, and another thing about the uh, stickers. I don't have. I actually don't have any tattoos on my body at all. Not one. But if I had to have one tattoo from my game, anything, it'd be this right here. Not this. This. That's from Claire's jacket, Let Me Live. I would definitely get that. Now onto the posters. I have a couple hung up here. I don't want to go through all of them. This is a Resident Evil Afterlife. The poster, I got that at Spencer. Ah, yeah, Spencer's. Like eight bucks, I think. And then over here, you know, welcome to my hallway, I know. Um, Resident Evil Extinction. And I don't know if you can see down there. But that's a Resident Evil 4 poster. Got that at Spencer's for eight dollars. Yep. And then I have a couple like Resident Evil stuff like on the on the wall there, but I'm gonna bore you with that. I'll show you some Resident Evil stuff right here. Like that's the that was that was the Resident Evil that's supposed to be in the guide there. And I also have the Resident Evil Zero and Resident Evil 4 poster. So yeah, I also have that Resident Evil map one, but it's behind there. I'm not going to go and show that though. Um, but yeah, that is my quick Resident Evil, well not really quick, but my Resident Evil collection. I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah, peace out guys and keep survival horror alive. Peace.